Throughout Liberia's coastline, a diverse ecosystem that provides a livelihood to about 60% of the country's population. For generations, Liberians have been fishing in the Atlantic Ocean to feed their families. We have a serious water pollution. You see the livelihoods of Baisa survive on the ocean, but the water has been polluted. I see the fishing work that go business. The first time, the first time when I start fishing, I can't see they die here. But the past day on the sea part, it's not anything. As fish is getting scarcer, coastal populations are looking for new ways to make a living. For many, sand, used for construction, is the answer. Increasingly, sand mining has become an income-generating activity. However, it comes at a high cost, coastal erosion. Sand mining leaves coastal areas less protected, vulnerable to storms. I know a few years ago, when I was in school here, the ocean was way back. We had some friends and family members that had a building the way the ocean is now, and those buildings are all being swept away. If left unregulated, it can have lasting detrimental effects on the coastal ecosystem. What first seemed an easy way to secure a living ends up threatening the existence of coastal communities. Sand mining is only one of the many challenges resulting from increased human pressure on the ecosystem. There are a lot of challenges, especially along the coastal belt in our own locality. The living condition of the people are highly deplorable. Other challenges include the dumping of waste, oil spills, and illegal fishing. To address these threats, government has developed strategies, laws, and regulations that need to be complied with. To verify whether this is the case, the General Auditing Commission of Liberia decided to undertake an audit on coastal and marine management. This work was supported by the African Organization of English-Speaking Supreme Audit Institutions, AfroSci-E, with the assistance of German International Cooperation, GIZ. AfroSci is our mother body for Africa. They do collab, uh, cooperative audits. We have a, a fairly long coastal line. We are uh, below sea level, and this is why we agreed to be part of that audit. From this, it became apparent that Liberia is currently not effectively managing its coastal and marine areas. A lack of adequate policies, as well as poor marine surveillance and inspection mechanisms have been identified as areas of concern by the auditors. How public institutions um, use the public money is one of the core issues um, in, within the SDGs. So we wanted to shed light on the factual situation on the ground. One thing is to find the facts, um, but then the second step is to raise awareness. We want to uh, contribute to systemic change. We want to uh, contribute to an implementation of the SDGs. The General Auditing Commission of Liberia has made several recommendations to alleviate these concerns. In our findings, huh, we found out that our coastline is being eaten away by the ocean. We found out that sand mining with our proper monitoring is damaging our waterways. One thing is clear. Work needs to be done to ensure that the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals are met. Together, GIZ and AfroSci-E developed an e-learning tool to support six countries in the context of a program that aims at contributing to the implementation of the Sustainable Development Goals in African countries. The Supreme Audit Institutions actually have a major role to play and by actually including the Sustainable Development Goals in their audit procedures, they can actually provide assurance to their citizens. The General Auditing Commission has also made further recommendations on the lack of climate change response policy, the destruction of mangroves, and illegal fishing activities in Liberia. Mangroves protect shorelines from storm and hurricane winds. Equally important are marine species which provide food, medicine, and a livelihood for many, also drawing in tourism and providing recreational activities for a countless number around the world. For settlement, they're cutting down mangroves. They don't know the importance of mangroves. They see the wetlands as wasteland. They are, they are very unique ecosystems used to balance the ecological chain. Once it is polluted, it's destroyed, it's broken down, 
then we expose the city to flooding. Chemicals, use of explosives, and use of unauthorized fishing gear could lead to a depletion of marine resources and habitats if left without proper inspection and control. Government has enacted a new law to curtail illegal fishing, but controlling that the laws are effectively applied is a challenge. The importance of the work of auditors cannot be denied when it comes to ensuring that the sustainable development goals are met and that national laws are adhered to. During the auditors' field visits to Monserrado and Grand Cape Mount counties, excavation and drilling machinery were observed, involved in sand mining, without any evidence of regulation. Almost two-thirds of our population live along coastal cities. And if we do nothing much to protect those coastal cities from being eroded, some of these cities could be wiped off in the not too distant future. With regards to offshore oil spills, there is currently no policy or strategy in place to manage and contain such, as well as other pollution and degradation to Liberia's territorial waters. A national oil spill contingency plan is just being completed. However, a wider integrated approach needs to be followed regarding marine pollution. The audit has helped us in several dimensions as regards to having an in integrated approach when it comes to marine environmental management our show to ship interface is much better than ever before. We have one of the highest standards when it comes to safety and environmental compliance. In order to assure that all issues are addressed coherently, the General Auditing Commission recommended that international regulations and policies on marine management should be incorporated into a single national policy addressing coastal and marine pollution. Coastal zones are very fragile environmental zones and they are very important for the well-being of um, the population. They are actually crucial for Africa and for Africa's development and growth. If we don't take care of our environment, the little that we can do as Liberians will help us. And we are doing this not just for us now, but for generations to come. Good financial governance is essential to strengthening government accountability, ultimately leading to change and ensuring that development goals are met. Ensuring that the coasts are sustainably managed will require the contribution of each and every citizen. Citizens need to learn about the impact of their actions on the environment. It's only with the participation of everyone that the government can successfully preserve the country's precious resources and the livelihood of many.